metabolism is an interesting concept and actually uh, we can say it is the definition of life whatever processes are going on in the cell or in the living system is all because of the chemical reactions and all the chemical reactions are generally termed as metabolism okay so let first uh, let's see the overview of how the uh, particular metabolism state is reached towards or reached to the particular heterotrophic cell so first of all talking about the sun yes we will be actually going to the ultimate source of the energy and that is sun the nuclear reactions in the core of the sun or inside the sun the in which there will be nuclear fusion going on it will lead to the generation of the uh, nuclear energy and uh, out of this nuclear energy the light energy is reaching to the earth okay initially uh, we can say the phototrophs are the ones which can use or harvest this light energy and convert the inorganic substances into the organic compounds right on uh, we can say on the earth or in the nature the phototrophs are only ones we can convert the in which uh, which can convert the inorganic into the organic compounds so for this what it uh, it will use so the phototrophs will use carbon dioxide as the source they will use water for the electron donor and they will donate the electron to the carbon dioxide which will actually form organic compounds okay so initially uh, these organic compounds are used up by the phototrophs extra organic compounds are being stored in the form of energy and they are getting now consumed by the heterotrophs so keep this in mind that without phototrophs heterotrophs are not possible or the existence of heterotrophs are not possible so uh, now coming to the heterotrophs when this organic compound is consumed by the heterotrophs the main purpose of this organic compound is to provide energy okay now talking about the energy here this nuclear energy or the light energy is getting converted into the chemical energy in the form of this organic compound this chemical energy is consumed or we can say the chemical compound is consumed by the heterotrophs and from this chemical compound the again energy is to be extracted or obtained so that the uh, free energy will be available for other metabolic reactions occurring in the cellular heterotrophs okay so uh, now talking about other metabolic reactions our body actually uh, we can say performs many other chemical reactions also like uh, continuous breaking and making of proteins lipids uh, nucleic acids like that so uh, continuous breaking and making of biomolecules requires energy and this energy input is in the form of the atp that is this chemical energy so this free energy as we talked about and as i said earlier that free energy is not because of the constant body temperature that is 37 degrees celsius because there is no heat flow free energy source is actually in the form of the chemical energy that is provided by atp so what will be our ultimate aim for the respiration that our body will form a common currency energy currency and that is this atp so how should it form or how will it form so uh, this organic compound which is consumed by the heterotrophs this organic compound is very high uh, in the or we can say it is electron rich and we have talked about this that in our first lecture itself the available electron concept and all that so as you see starting from the first lecture up to this metabolism everything is actually connected even the thermodynamics part and uh, even the redox part so talking about this the high energy uh, electron compound that is this uh, particular carbon source that is consumed by the heterotrophs and uh, due to this respiratory reaction what it will produce it will produce atp it will produce water and it will produce carbon dioxide right so as you can see the electrons are actually donated to the electron acceptor the terminal electron acceptor that is oxygen which then gets converted into the water so everything is coming into the circle initially the phototrophs were using water as an electron donor so that it get uh, it actually 
for uh, we can say form the organic compound and once the organic compound is consumed by the heterotrophs the electrons from this organic compound is actually again sent back to the electron uh, acceptor and this electron acceptor will receive the electrons and finally get converted into the water so water carbon dioxide these two are the byproducts as well as the energy that is atp okay and what will be the reactants here the reactants will be the carbon source as well as the oxygen oxygen will be the reactant okay now uh, let's see the basic respiratory uh, reaction here <coughs> in the case of respiration uh, in the heterotrophs the carbon source as we talked about acts as the electron donor this is the electron donor is rich in high energy electrons and these high energy electrons are being supplied to or we can say transferred to the oxygen so that oxygen is therefore used in the uh, we can say oxidation of the compound and electron transfer and finally it will now get converted into the water the electron donor that is our carbon source will get converted into the carbon dioxide and the electrons that are being transferred is actually used in the form of or oh sorry actually used in the formation of atp that is the chemical energy so again talking about from the initial stage the nuclear or the light energy was used so that the inorganic compound was getting converted into the organic compound that is the chemical energy this chemical energy was consumed by heterotrophs and again it is now um, the chemical energy that is being consumed by the uh, heterotrophs is being converted into the common energy currency that is atp so we are talking about this thing okay so oxygen will actually require electrons and protons to per, uh, to form the or uh, convert into uh, convert into the water okay fine now let's talk about this electron transfer because this electron transfer is actually the concept of the redox reactions that is reduction and oxidation reactions and this redox reaction is the base of all the metabolic or we can say most of the metabolic reactions uh, in the body okay so uh, how this electron transfer generate atp we will talk about that so for that we have to only uh, take one simple analogy and this analogy is now applied at the molecular level okay so first of all let uh, us talk about uh, that there is one dam there is one dam and uh, one at one side of them there is high level of water that means high potential energy correct high level of water and at the other side of them there is low level or we can say no level of water that means it is low potential energy so what i will be doing i will be opening the gates of the dam and due to the spontaneity of because uh, the water will go from high potential to low potential due to this spontaneity the water will move from one direction to another direction okay now you are able to connect all the different concepts so water will move spontaneously from one direction to another side now because of this uh, potential high potential energy it is now getting converted into the kinetic energy okay one energy is getting uh, we can say uh, converted into another energy now what does a uh, human will do human is intelligent uh, so uh, human will actually put a turbine in between this flowing water once the turbine is put in the flowing water the kinetic energy of the water is now getting converted into the electrical energy correct right so this kinetic energy is getting converted into the electric energy used in our households so that is what the uh, we can say mind of the human will do but this particular concept is actually being used at the molecular level from millions and billions of years so at the molecular level think of this as that uh, at one end there will be a high potential or high energy electron from the carbon source correct at another end there will be terminal electron acceptor this terminal electron acceptor has very high reduction potential so electron will definitely go spontaneously from the carbon source into the 
or we can say towards the electron acceptor and this electron acceptor because of this direction what happens there will be release of energy and this release of energy is now harvested in the form of ATP okay so what you learn in your electron transport chain the complex 1 2 3 4 and the complex 5 is that ATP is right all these complexes acts as a dam and all the other electron carriers as you are aware about and you know the name that is NADH FADH2 and cytochrome C and ubiquinone and all that all these electron carriers will pass the electron from one to the other direction and one uh, and it will create a definite path this definite path from high potential to low potential and in between this what happens particularly ATPs or uh, we can say the free energy sorry not free energy the liberated energy is being used in the formation of ATP right so this you will learn in detail in the uh, metabolism and energetic portion but uh, I hope you got the concept of this now let's see this uh, concept in brief in our system so in our cell generally uh, the particular uh, we can say the whole bioenergetic or metabolism respiration starts with glycolysis so glucose is now getting converted into pyruvate by a certain 10 step process and during this what happens ATP is generated as well as NADH now where does uh, what is the role of this NADH because glucose is having high energy electrons right high energy electrons so therefore NADH will be used as electron carrier and it will go towards the and it will carry it towards the mitochondria now talking about the pyruvate thing the pyruvate will get converted into acetyl coenzyme A again in between this also as you are aware that NADH is being formed NADH is being formed and acetyl coenzyme A will then take part in the Krebs cycle Krebs cycle it, it is again in the mitochondria itself right so uh, Krebs cycle when we talk about this the <coughs> particular uh, during the Krebs cycle ATP NADH and FADH2 are generated ATP is used up in the metabolic reactions as we know that it is a source of free energy now so therefore it will be used in other metabolic reactions and NADH and FADH2 will act as electron carrier and it will bring this high electron carrier into the mitochondrial part where there will be elect it will taking it will be taking part into the electron transport chain this electron carriers or donors will donate the electron to the different carriers then due to this what happens again the same concept where high potential electron will go towards the low potential state and during this the energy liberated will be used to form ATP you all this you know by uh, the concept that is chemiosmotic potential and proton pump proton is pumped outside that is in the intermembrane space and finally it is again uh, we can say pumped back into the uh, particular uh, matrix and uh, finally this energy is used in the formation of ATP so all these things require the knowledge of chemistry it requires the knowledge of physics and all these things are actually taking part in a biological system so that was the basic of the uh, we can say the fundamental of the, our metabolic system and mainly our respiration now talking about this redox reactions which are the uh, we can say the soul of our whole metabolic reactions going on especially the respiration going on this redox reaction uh, when we say that something is reduced or something is oxidized actually this reduction and oxidation definitions are uh, given or we can say there are multiple definitions by different uh, scientists we'll be talking about that and also remember that if somewhere reduction is going on that at some other time there will always be oxidation with it yes we might not be seeing the oxidation portion of that thing but re reduction always actually uh, couples with the oxidation okay so we will be talking about the oxidation definition and the reduction will be opposite of it let us say for example the simplest uh, definition is the addition of oxygen as you can see in the example so therefore the removal of oxygen will be reduction okay removal of 
removal of hydrogen is also known as oxidation as you can see again in the example therefore addition of hydrogen hydrogen is oxidation uh, sorry reduction okay then the addition of electronegative element or removal of electropositive element is also the definition of oxidation another definition is the loss or removal of electrons from a compound correct that is one more definition and this is the we can say the most common form that we use in our uh, we, we can say in our uh, particular processes and in our concepts so the loss or removal of the electron from a compound is actually known as oxidation therefore the gain of the particular compound will be known as the reduction okay so oil rig you can remember this thing oil rig that means oxidation is losing and reduction is gaining of electron so if a compound is gaining an electron therefore it is getting reduced okay so now uh, in the case of the equation or the reaction of respiration the oxygen is actually gaining the electrons right so that oxygen was getting converted into water therefore oxygen was being reduced in this case so you can remember like that and finally the increase in the oxidation oxidation state or oxidation number is also known as oxidation so as you can see here in this reaction the sodium has oxidation number zero in this case chlorine also has oxidation number zero but once it takes part into the reaction the 2 na plus now gets converted into 2 nacl in this case na plus means now it actually attains oxidation number of plus one therefore it is now getting oxidized and chlorine from zero it is now getting oxidation number of minus one therefore it is getting reduced okay and as you can see you can also connect this to the particular concept that this na if it loses electron then only it is able to attain na plus state right if it loses electrons in this case in this particular reaction it is losing two electrons therefore it is now able to attain plus uh, oxidation number so yes lose or losing or removal of electrons is actually oxidation right so this makes sense 